So Craig, how, how are the guys coming along as we get ready for tomorrow night's game? Um, yeah, we've we had the obviously had the buy a rooster, which was um, probably not ideal, you know, like so early in the season. But um, you know, I suppose we've gone from a Sunday to a Thursday, so it hasn't really felt like that to be quite honest. But um, yeah, like I said, we've uh, we've done a bit of training and had a little bit of time off as well. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, we should be fit and ready for tomorrow night. How's how's Cam Munster coming along, and is there much prospect we're seeing tomorrow night? Oh, there's a pretty good chance that uh, he might line up. Um, again, you know, it's been, you know, as I've said before, you know, the injury's been fine or seems to be fine, and then all of a sudden it flares up again. So, um, you know, he's had a, a couple of uh, the sessions this week that he's gone pretty well in. So, um, yeah, so hopefully you'll, you'll pull up OK tomorrow after today's session and, and then we'll just we'll just go for it. How much have you missed him? Um... Yeah, I think you know, young Jones done a you know pretty good job. You know, a really good job. Um, you know, Kevin's obviously a you know really experienced player too. So you know, we probably missed a little bit of that. And yeah, you know, we all know what he can do you know, when he's playing his best. So um, hopefully, uh, yeah, you know, we're not going to expect miracles from him. You know, you know, he's missed a lot of time training. And he's missed the four, you know, the trials and the force and, and the force first four games of the season. So. Um, you know, like I say, he's, it'll take him a little bit of uh, getting back into it, I'd imagine. Has he got 80 minutes in him, do you think? Or might you have yeah. to do one of those little Harry Grant things where you bring him on later? Or yeah, well, if you know, if he plays tomorrow night, we'll find out. You know, if he doesn't, well, we probably won't. But um, like I say, we'll just, as I said, it's been a, you know, frustrating for him, but frustrating for everybody, to be quite honest. It's just been, you know, pretty good one day and then not so good the next day, you know. So, um, like I say, we just... Um, you know, see what happens, but you know, we know that Jane has done a good job for us, and you know, if he does pull up sore tomorrow, we'll, you know, we'll put Jane in. Oh, there's a bit of talk on NRL 360 last night about Nelson, that you were unhappy with his weight at the start of the season, and that um, that's part of the reason we haven't seen him back yet. That you, you oh, well, he no, well, he's, he's, he's not in our, our 17th at the moment, um, you know, that, that sort of bit private conversation, you know, between me and him, so, um, at the end of the day, you know, he's an important part of our club, an important part of our team. You know, we just need him, um, you know, playing well and, 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 and get back into it. And we, you know, it hasn't been an easy pre-season for him. He's, um, you know, he's had some real hamstring problems, and you know, he hasn't he hasn't done a lot of work in the pre-season. So that's a little bit of the problem as well. Um, so you know, we're not going to put him in until he's ready. And uh, so you know, hopefully, you know, like I say, he'll, he'll be a root real asset to us, you know, if we can get him back in and, and he's, um, you know, he gets that time under his belt training and, and, and some games. Um, but like I say, he's just he's just short of that at the moment. How's he handling that at the moment? Do you, do you fear that other clubs might see an opportunity here the longer he stays out of the side? Well, they can see what they like at the end of the day. He's got a contract, so, yeah. I don't think that needs answering, to be quite honest. And how's he handled it personally? You well, obviously, it's a bit... You know, to be frustrating, it's, it's frustrating for all of us. You know, we know how how much he adds to the team when he's he's playing his best. So you know, it, like I say, it's not um, it, it's just that that situation where he missed a lot of our pre-season, you know, with a hamstring injury. You know, and you know, he, uh, I think it reoccurred, you know, a couple of times. So like I say, he, he's missed a lot of time. So you know, like I say, he's um, you know, big guys like him, you know, they need to train and they need to be playing. So, like I say, he's a bit underdone at the moment, but um, uh, when we think he's had enough time training and, and enough, you know, games um, in Queensland Cup, um, you know, we'll, he, he, he's going to be a real asset for us, you know. So, he's, again, the situation is what it is, you know. He just hasn't done a lot of training or hasn't played a lot of games. But he's likely to need a few more weeks from... Yeah, well, I, I don't know how long it's going to take, but um, you know, he's obviously you know training full on now, so you know that's a good sign, and you know, hopefully, it won't take him too long. What's your read on the Broncos? What they offer up? Oh, you know, they're obviously missing a couple of players at the moment, but you know, you wouldn't have thought so. You know, their performance last week, it was. You know, they've got a lot of very, you know, good athletes in their team. You know, they're you know, big and strong, and you know they. They run quick, and um, when you've got a guy like Reynolds, you know, directing them around the field, he's um, 
you know, he's a really good player. You know, he's got Billy Walters there to help him out too. He's really experienced, and you know, you got guys with pace like like Mum, and you know, the, they're outside backs. So, you know, as I said, big, strong athletes. So, um, yeah, it was pretty impressive last week how they played, and you know, we think they're going to come down here and probably you know perform like that again. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll need to be on our game. How much work as a coaching group do you put into stopping someone like Reynolds from, from tearing up? The oh, well, at the end of the day, we can come up with all the plans we like. It's, um, it's how, how the players, you know, you know they, they need a say in it as well. You know, like they're the ones out there doing it. So, um, but like I say, um, you know, his performance last week, he just, you know, I think one of the commentators made the, the statement, you know, he kicked kicked him to death, you know, and he did. So um, hopefully we can you know, get a bit more pressure on him than um, he got on last week. How has the, the pressure been from your forwards this year? Have you been happy with what you're getting up on the line? Yeah, they've, um, you know, they've, we've got some real hard workers there, you know, and, you know, they've done a really good job. Got a little bit of leg speed in there as well. So, um, you know, obviously, you know, with Harry, he's, you know, he, he's really helped those, those blokes along with, you know, he, he's, you know, his experience, I suppose. You know, he's obviously an Origin player and an Australian player, so um, he's been real helpful. And um, like I say, they're, they're just a bunch of real hard workers and, you know, they've they've done a good job for us. I know you're a New South Welshman, but should the Queensland supporters be worried about Munster missing so much footy to start with? Or do you think by the time we get to Origin, it'll <laughs> uh, be a good shape? I don't know how long it is to Origin, but obviously it's still a little while yet. So, um, like I say, I, you know, I can't really answer that. At the end of the day, we'll, we'll see how he goes tomorrow night. If he if he pulls up, okay, you know. But um, if he doesn't, well, it's just another week, and um, you know we've just got to get on with it. You know, like at the end of the day, it's you know, it's just not you know Munster playing the Bron Broncos. It's you know everyone. You know, so at the end of the day, we'll see how he pulls up. And, you know, like say so he's, he's had a bit of a tough run on it with being up and down and. You know, with all due respect, it's probably got the medical staff to, staff a little confused as well. So, um, but anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens and we'll go from there. And I'll let Billy worry about the Queensland thing. I'll worry just about here. Yeah. Um, with the, with Jono, has he, has he shown you a bit more than you thought you'd get from him, or is he after a couple of years and he's sort of just agreed to go? No, he's um, no, I, I, yeah, I, he hasn't surprised me a great deal. He's he's very. Uh, he's skillful. And he's got a real good kicking game, and you know he, he knows the game really well. To be quite honest, um, yeah, he's he's reasonably confident as well. You know, so probably just had to um, you know get a little bit more physicalness about his game, and he has. So you know, I, I think he's done a, a real good job. I I wouldn't say he's surprised me a lot, but you know we've been you know pretty happy with the way he's played. So um, you know, like you say, we know he's in the background if if we need him. A yep. bit extra for you as a coach, with two premiership heavyweights going head to head, does it give you a bit more of a kick than usual? No, uh, no, I think yeah, sort of. You know, you just got to get into that grind, you know. And at the end of the day, that, that's what it becomes, you know, a grind, you know. And um, like I say, if you start looking at games as more important than others, you know, they're all worth two points. So that, that's a simple part of it, you know. So uh, we just try and keep things in a system and pretty consistent, and we'll see what happens.